Hey guys, Coach P. Thanks for tuning in to Championship Muscle. You see this guy right here? Old school bodybuilder. Look at the muscle separation and conditioning on an old school 70s and 80s bodybuilder. I'm going to show you how to get that right after this. Hey guys, welcome back. Coach P. First video in about 12, 14 days. I had the flu, knocked the shit out of me. But I'm back in the gym, bringing you more good content. And today's topic of discussion, which is gonna be a multi-part series, how to get that muscle separation and conditioning that we had back in the 70s and the 80s and a good portion of the 90s, okay? How do you get that muscle separation and conditioning? I'm gonna talk about buys, tries, and forearms today. When you look at today's bodybuilders, yeah, they're big. The men's open class, yeah, they're big. And I wanna, dro I wanna drop the F-bomb in there because they're that big. But what are they lacking? My mindset, which is old school, is they're lacking the muscle separation between the muscle groups. The picture of the guy I showed you up there, that guy over here, you see the etching in the shoulders and it separated the bicep and the tricep and the forearms? That was just like one big hunk of meat with all the detail in it. Those guys in the Olympia last week in the men's open class didn't have anything like that. But that guy back in the 70s and the 80s that I showed you, he had it. How'd he get it? First key is diet. He knows how to diet. He knows how to take in the right amount of food, protein, carbohydrates, and fats to bring his body fat levels way down to thin the skin out so that those muscles pop. Okay, the muscles are popping. How do you get them bigger? And how do you get them separated? And how do you get that, that, that looks like it's been cut through stone? How do you get that granite look? It's called high repetition, moderate weight, whether you wanna do drop sets or you just wanna do high rep sets, those are the movements that are gonna give you that look that's been etched from stone. You're not gonna get that look where the meat's hanging off the bone by doing six to 10 reps. It's just not going to happen. I don't give a shit who tells you it's going to happen. I don't care what computer program they got the certification from. I lived it. I had that kind of separation back in the day. It's high repetition. It's squeezing every repetition, whether it's the barbell curl, the tricep push down, or the forearm dumbbell curls. You are putting your mind in that muscle group and you're squeezing every repetition that you do. It's not just up here where you're grabbing a bar and you're doing shit like this. Any, any jackass can go into the gym and move weight. You see it all the time. I go to the gym every morning at five o'clock with my crew and I'm constantly pointing out, look at this guy, just slinging weights, no muscle engagement. Unless you engage that muscle every time you put your hands on that bar, you grab that bar, you squeeze your muscles, you engage them, and you start curling like you mean it. Not just to grab the bar and, hey, look at me, I'm curling 60 pounds. Look at me, look, look, look. That's bullshit. You grab that bar, you lighten up the weight so it's weight that you can handle for that 25 rep range, that 20 rep range, and you're squeezing the shit out of every repetition. And when it comes to triceps, you're giving a twist in your wrist and you're pushing down hard, squeezing that muscle every repetition. On the forearms, squeezing, pushing up and squeezing, curling up and squeezing, rotating and squeezing. There are no shortcuts to getting that kind of separation. There's no shortcuts to getting that kind of conditioning. You have to bust your ass in the gym with the high repetitions to get that skin splitting pump that you always hear me talking about, whether it's through drop sets or whether it's through high rep sets, that's the only way you're gonna get that kind of pump in your muscles. 
And what's most important, and I touched on it a few seconds ago, the food that you're taking in when you're outside of the gym. You can do it for an hour in here and kill yourself. You can go across the street from this parking lot, go right through the Burger King parking lot, and you can blow it right there on a number one combo with cheese with a large Coke. Your diet has to be on point in order for the muscle to recuperate, to get the nutrition it needs, to get that hard, grainy look, that thin paper skin that you want. It's time in the game. It's not an overnight success story. Guys do this shit for years and years trying to master it. Very few people get it on the first shot. Unless you've got a coach that really knows what they're doing and really knows your body, document what you do in the gym, document what you do outside of the gym. Take notes on what food you're taking in, what's your caloric intake, how many grams of protein, how many grams of fat, how many grams of complex carbs, and I'm telling you right now, keep them low. Because if you don't keep them complex carbs low, you're never going to burn your body fat to get that onion thin skin. Like you saw in the picture of that guy that I showed you a little while ago. That's what it takes. Bodybuilding is a science of how to do it in the gym. And it's a science based on food. If you can't master those two sciences, you're never going to be a successful bodybuilder. You might be okay. You might do all right in the local, maybe regional level. But when you take it to the national and international and professional level, you're going to shit the bed. Because that's the extreme. That's extreme, extreme conditioning. That's my rant for the day, guys. If you have any questions, reach out to me. My book is on Amazon, Untold Secrets of Bodybuilding. Get yourself a copy. It was released sometime this summer. It's getting five-star reviews and it's selling really great. And I am scratching the surface on 700 subscribers. I want to hit 1,000, guys. Share my videos with your friends. Tell your friends to subscribe. Tell your gym buddies to subscribe. I got a lot of great content coming out there and there's a lot more content coming. Like I said, this is a, a one-part series today and I got three or four more parts going over all the different body parts on how to do this muscle conditioning and muscle separation. So until next time, I'll see you guys in the gym.